Welcome folks, Technivorous here. This is Kira. Now Kira is a 3D object slicing application. It's used in conjunction with your 3D printer to make almost anything. But how does it work? Stick around and find out. We'll go over each setting one by one, each in five minutes or less. And be sure to bookmark this playlist and hit that subscribe button. Please feel free to share. It helps us out a ton. And now without further ado, today on Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less 2021 Edition. Technivers channel is brought to you by these fine Patreon supporters. Check us out on Patreon at patreon.com slash technivers. So let's discuss initial layer height. Now what I have here is the already slice model we've been using for a couple videos now. And if you look, I have scrolled all the way down to the first layer. Now when we talk about initial layer height, we're talking about only this layer. You can change the height of this layer to be independent from your actual regular layer height. And one of the reasons you would want to do this is because they say that increasing it slightly can help with adhesion. This is because it allows you to extrude slightly more plastic onto the bed, giving it a little bit more grab. Now, this is fine when you're using a raft like I'm using here, but you need to watch out with this property and the initial layer line width property that you're not going to cause over extruding if you're not printing some sort of adhesive surface. So if I start to print just the model, I want to make sure that I'm not too far ahead of the actual layer height because it is going to raise it up a little bit more than it would. Um, and that's what's going to give you that gap. Uh, you get a little bit better adhesion that way. So um, you just want to make sure that you're not causing over extrusion or under extrusion because both the initial layer height uh, will and the initial line width, which we'll go over later, can cause elephant's footing. This one generally will cause elephant's footing if it is too low and not too high. So generally I'll print at about 0.12 or 0.16, and I'll have my initial layer height at 0.2. Uh, it just gives it a little bit more surface area to work with. Um, and that's really the only thing you need to know about this property. It only affects the first layer, and after that, it doesn't really matter. If you want to leave it the same as your regular layer height, you can do that. And if it's not changed, let's see if it'll let me click here. Oh, I changed it so it unsliced it. So let's go back over here so it's not lagging me out. There we go. Um, and you can see I reloaded the initial layer height. If I change this to 0.2, uh, it doesn't change the other one automatically either. So you need to be aware of that. You, you generally want the initial layer height to be slightly higher than the layer height, but not less. It can be equal, that's fine. Uh, but a little bit higher does give you slightly better adhesion. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Don't forget to leave a like on this video and smash that subscribe button. Ring the notification bell so you can get notified about future videos. And on a side note, make sure you check out our new webpage. The website is technivore.club. That's T-E-C-H-N-I-V-O-R-E dot C-L-U-B. And on that site, you can find all sorts of stuff relating to the channel here, as well as some awesome affiliate links for you to purchase printers and printer supplies, which helps the channel grow quite a bit. So definitely check that out. We appreciate you stopping by.